Hello boys and girls, 10.2 is live and in the first week you can get 4 high item level pieces by doing quests and events in the new zone as well as crafting items. In this short guide I'm going to go over all the steps that you need to do in order not to miss out on any of them. And the first step of course is to go to the new zone. You can do so by newly added portal which is just east of the building with the great vault on a small island. Taking the portal will get you straight into the middle of the Emerald Dream and you can start most of the important quests right there. However, I would recommend to start the campaign quest instead which will take you to the west of Honoran Plains. The actual portal to the Emerald Dream is right there and you can use the transportation network close to Voldraken to get there as quick as possible. The campaign itself will progress you throughout the story and it will also give you some resources that you're going to need later on as well as gear that ranges from 415 to 424. You also earn some extra renown with the new fraction as well as mounts. The renown is going to be useful if you want to buy the eternal augmentation rune a little bit later on once you get enough reputation. Whether you go through the portal or you do the campaign you end up in the middle of the Emerald Dream in a place called Central Encampment. It is here where you have to pick up some very important quests. The first one is from Keeper Amrin. The quest is to earn some extra reputation with the Dream Wardens. Once you're done you'll be awarded with the Satchel of Dreams which contains one of the items that we're interested in. If you're not interested to stay for too long in the Emerald Dream make sure you pick this quest as soon as you come here because many of the side quests and the campaign quests will give you some reputation that will count towards that quest. Next go to Talisa Whisper Broom nearby and pick up the quest Blooming Dream Seeds. This one will make you plant some seeds around the Emerald Dream, more for that later. But the important part is it also awards you with a bag that can contain a high level item. And then pick up the quest Dreams Unified from Lady Moonberry right next to the Talisa NPC. This one will give you half a spark as soon as you find another half somewhere which will allow you to craft a high level item. And then the last thing is a big event that starts on every round hour just east of the encampment. Once you get there make sure to find a dryad called Clarelle and pick up the super bloom quest from her. You can finish the event without the quest but it is the quest that gives you the bag that contains high level items so make sure to pick it up unless you have to do the event twice. So your adventures could start with this event it is as dumb as the event could be. The big tree next to the dryad is going to start walking and you have to chase it for 15 minutes doing different activities but in fact you can just mount up and afk following somebody. In order to finish the quest though you need to get 50 bloom by yourself. That's a currency that you accumulate throughout the event and basically ewing a pack of mobs or just clicking on the items that pop up around the tree every now and then is going to get you 50 quite fast. At the end of the event there is a small boss that you need to kill and once you do that you actually complete that first quest. Note that the dryad is also following the tree so you can turn in the quest as soon as the event is finished as she is nearby. This is going to give you the first bag that will give you an item. And there is some RNG involved because some of my tunes got a 441 item level but some of them got 450. In this case my paladin was I guess lucky enough to get a 447 piece. As you can see you're also getting some rep which counts towards the worthy ally quest that you also need to finish and you're getting some seeds that you can use for that other quest that we picked up in the encampment. The seeds are spread around the emerald dream and you can see them marked on your map. Currently active seeds are a little bit bigger but you can also fly to the small ones and find some that were not activated yet and activate them by yourself. There's three types of seeds green blue and purple. And you get them basically by doing anything in the Emerald Dream, killing rares, doing quests, etc. Once you find an active seed you can click on it and you have two options. The left one allows you to plant a seed and this is what you need to do 5 times in order to complete that blooming dream seeds quest that we picked up earlier. However you can do this only once per seed and only if you have a seed from the corresponding color that the seed was started with. This one requires a purple seed, I don't have one so the button is just not active for me. The other button though you can click as many times as you want once is enough to get a possible reward which contains 250 rep as well as other things. The reputation is supposedly limited to only the first 5 seeds that you do. Although that seemed to bug for me and for some of my characters but if you get all 5 seeds to give you rep and you do the super bloom event that would actually complete the worthy ally 
quest that we're also filling up, as it requires 1500 reputation total. If you're lacking seeds, you can run around, kill some rares and you probably get some to drop, which will also give you some extra reputation, as well as the total of 5 seeds that you need to plant for the other quest. And as I said, if you're lucky enough, this rare actually dropped a 434 item for my paladin. Once you plant all 5 seeds, you complete the blooming dream seeds quest and you're probably going to be finishing the quest to gain the reputation as well from the worthy ally. At this point you're almost done, you can go back to the encampment and turn the blooming dream seeds quest, which awards you a bag, and in this case this bag dropped a 441 item for my paladin. And you get yet another bag once you turn in the worthy ally quest, which also awards you with an item, and this time I was a little bit more lucky I guess, because I managed to get the same helm that I got from the super bloom, but this time it was a at 450 item level. This bag is also going to drop one of the dream sparks halves that you're looking for, so now you can turn around and turn this other quest to get the other half. Keep in mind that to combine the both halves you have to invest 250 flight stones, but you also get quite a few of those by doing the events and the quests around, so that should be no problem at all. Once you combine the two halves you get a spark that you can use to craft up to a 463 item level piece of gear as long as you find a skilled enough crafter. So those are the 4 items that you don't want to miss out during the first week of 10.2 and as a summary, Get the bag from the Super Bloom event, get the bag from the Worthy Ally quest, get the bag from the Blooming Dream Seeds quest, and at the end you should have a Dream Spark that you can use to craft yet another item. You can do this on all of your ults and that should put you in a pretty good position for next week when Mythic Plus and the raid starts. So good luck with that, good luck with your items, I'll see you in the next video, until then, take care, and whatever you are, be there.